This is our second lecture, lecture 2b. We're going to talk about theory of communication, model of communication, elements of communication. Now, I've said this and I'm going to repeat it again. Many people think it's easy to communicate. You know, they equate communicating with talking. And they say, hey, I've been talking all my life. I've been communicating all my life. I disagree. Talking is easy, but effective and appropriate communication is rare in our everyday life what kind what, what do we mean by effective communication it gets the job done appropriate means it builds healthy positive relationship you can get money from my pocket but if you stick a gun in my guts i'll give you the money it has got the job done but appropriate i don't think so you can also actually abuse somebody or coerce somebody to do something that gets the job done yes but healthy relationship i highly doubt so communication as we have said is the art of persuasion make sure that the person wants to do it you make that person have the motivation to do it and i think that's the highest form of communication you can have that person do it again and again and again yeah you don't have to be there but coercion it's just for a while they just do it because you're there. Communication is not a natural ability. We say this again. We've got to practice and practice and practice. If your name is James Mwangombe, then your middle name should be practice. James, practice communication, Mwangombe. If it is Jen Mkamburi, then it should be Jen, practice communication, Mkamburi. Make it your middle name. That's the only way you can actually get this thing about communication. It's not easy. So... We talked about this, but let me remind you again, communication it has its uh, root from rhetoric. Rhetoric is the art of giving speeches. This was done by Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, Descartes, you know, they'll stay out in the court and uh, persuade people. They'll actually do what is called elocution or oratory, and uh, it has come to give us communication. If you actually cannot persuade somebody or you don't get somebody to either change their mind, reorient their mind or act, then you have not persuaded. So many people are talking but they're not persuading. Persuading is when there is an, a change, when there is persuasion. And what it is? Transactional process where two or more individuals exchange messages in order to share meanings, create understanding, develop a relationship. Yes. Share meanings, create understanding, develop a relationship. If there's nothing like that happening, then there's no communication. You're just talking. And you can imagine how many people keep talking because somebody might come out and say, but what was that guy talking about? And you know, they'll give you a label now. What was that fool talking about? What was that hyena talking? Because you never said anything. But when you persuade people, when you move people, when you say stuff that actually somebody says, ah, wow, that sounds, that's powerful. You see, people like Mandela, Nelson Rohilakla Mandela, the Mandiba, he changed the world because he was actually communicating. Martin Luther King Jr., the civil rights leader, was assassinated in 1968 in Alabama. That was also a communicator. Look at Obama, Hussein, Barak. The guy is an African-American. The odds were all against him. I mean, that's the last person you'd think he'd get into the White House. Remember, it's called the White House because in some quarters they think it's only whites who should be there. But this young, lanky boy got into the White House. What communication? It's not about his money. It wasn't about his uh, dynasty. It wasn't about his family line. He didn't come from any dynasty. Communication. Just understand. You want to you wanna have this world in uh, the palm of your hands you want to actually have the world as uh, your oyster communicate that's the bottom line see get shared meanings you start two separate you come together you start finding shared meanings and uh, you can see when it happens some of you are going to be very lonely in this campus when you come the male especially why because of poor communication you get into a relationship not even a relationship you meet a lady and you have nothing to share because you start telling them well you know my father is the one who actually pilots the likoni ferry oh you know my father is the chief of chuda estate in mombasa oh you know my father is actually the one who drives a plane and the lady's like 
who cares? I'm not about your father, about me. So how do you get a lady to actually have some good conversation and communication with you? Shared meanings. Talk about uh, what really she can share with you. Music, culture, arts. Huh? Have you seen this movie? Which one? The one where the actor was actually saying two lovers, one chance, no time. That's how you start communication. Shared meanings. All right? Just understand. Don't be lonely in TTU, my man. You're going to be lonely if you can't communicate. All right. Oops. I got that one wrong. Okay. Let's look at what's the theory of communication. What's a theory? A theory is the same as a law in physical sciences. A law does what? It actually predicts. It actually explains phenomena like the law of gravity. It tells you, you go up in a tall building and if you think you can fly, then you're really mistaken. Try to go up. You won't go up. You'll come down. That's what a law says. Uh, if you look at Newton's third law also, it tells you action, reaction. You hit that wall with 10 Newtons, it replies back. Now, laws, physical sciences. Theory in social sciences. Why do we call them theory? Because social sciences is not as hard as the physical science. That's why it's called the physical sciences. So the laws there are immutable. It means they don't change. Here they can change. We're dealing with people. We're dealing with... Uh, variables. So a theory is an explanation of the relationship between elements of variables. Theory explains the workings of a phenomenon. As I've said, a theory is a means of explaining how something works. So we want to get the theory of what? Communication. How does communication work? How can we explain communication? And there we have a graphical model of communication. This is the communication process. This is what happens when communication Communication is taking place. Communicator sends and receives messages at the same time. The channels, people are exchanging. Communicator. So it's not a one-way process as we might think. It's not like the sender and the receiver is just there waiting. No, they are already interacting, non-verbally especially, with the eyes, with the nodding, with just the aspect of that. Then there is the noise, and there is also the channels of communication. There's the environment. And we can look much further when we get the Shannon and Weaver model. But these are things that you want to understand about the communication model. Sending and receiving messages usually takes place simultaneously. Messages usually have no meanings in, in themselves, but rather they reside in the people who express and interpret them. The context. Meanings of words actually come from the context. Where were they said? I can say I really love context yeah i said somebody can say i really love you what about if somebody says that and it's in a funeral of your grandmother what, what does it does that a good context really what about maybe somebody says you know what i really i am sorry but the person is laughing that's a context too so context are important messages are not without they don't have meaning by themselves it's the context we all come with baggage to the communication situation the channels of communication that we use do make a difference, okay? Because there is channels face-to-face, -face, most powerful. I can see you, I can get your feedback, I can see whether you are laughing at me. Telephone, people lie a lot. The mobile phone especially. They are in a matatu and they are far away. They say, I'm just here, I'm just about to get the email too. Actually, there you have emotion frozen, written messages. So that's different. All right. Here is the assignment, the same one. You're going to do the same for this video, like the one you had in lecture 2A. So I don't have to go through it. Same thing, you actually 80, 100 words. Use the same groups, there's no need of changing your groups. Make sure you actually write a comment. <laughs> Group identification form is there, the same one. You don't have to send it now because I already have known your group, all right? I don't have to keep sending this uh, group identification. You send the group identification once so that I know. Group Lion has Irungu, it has James, it has Makibengele, it has Mwangoma, it also maybe has Mabonje, you know, that kind of thing. But you don't have to be sending again and again. <laughs> Communication process. Talk is cheap. Communication is a process. What kind of process is it? So the sender sends a message, receiver, there's a communication channel, there's a feedback loop, there's a context, there's noise. We look at these elements. Communication has seven elements. It's a process. 
Talk is not a process. Talk is cheap, but communication is a process. It's like making chapatis. Making chapatis is a process. You cannot start frying the chapatis unless you mix the, the flour, you knead the dough, you actually put some oil, you roll the, the chapatis. That's a process. So you cannot overcome it. If you miss even the salt, the chapatis might be very bland. Or for example, you roll them in such a way that it's very hard or you need the dough that it's very hard. There's a time I was actually making chapatis in the U.S. when I was studying there because Maria was back in Kenya. And I actually started kneading the dough or mixing the flour. It became so hard. I had to use my legs. It became so hard. I had to sit on it up and down, up and down. When I was rolling the chapatis, I had to actually stand on that board. And when my friends came and ate the chapatis, they was hard as wood. Okay, exaggerated. But what I'm trying to tell you is if you miss the process, miss the process in communication, if there's too much noise, you can hear. If the context is not right, if the message is not coded well, then the communication process will fail. Just one aspect. That's why I'm saying, or that's why you need to know communication is not easy. It's really a hard process. You miss one thing, then the message won't get there. Let's look at the elements. There are seven elements. Sender is the one who encodes the message or packages the message. The message is what carries the uh, it's a crucial element of communication. Without the message, there is no communication. The channel can be either oral or written, can be face-to-face, -face, can be memo, radio. People like the memo, 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 memo. When are we opening? Memo. Have you seen the memo? Hmm. Receiver is the one who decodes the message. Feedback, response, or reaction. Noise can be both external, internal, context. We we'll look at this, and this is this model is called the Shannon Weaver model of communication. Remember, this you might, you not you might, you will have to actually uh, recall it because it's a very important aspect of communication. It actually explains the communication process. So, sender, encoder of the message. Communication begins with the sender or speaker. Is the one who puts together a message, and it's very important how you put the message. How is the success? It's a matter of technical skill. Speaking, successful speaking is more than a matter of technical skill. It also requires enthusiasm. You have to have passion. Enthusiasm is infectious and make people respond. Okay? Loudness does not equal to enthusiasm. Shouting not equal to enthusiasm. Pounding on the table, jumping up and down. That, those are called theatrics. Those are atwoli nomics, or you might actually call them the BBI nomics. People are doing reggae. That's just loudness. Doesn't mean you're communicating. Okay? There is a difference between communicating and doing either reggae or politics or something like that. So don't don't equate shouting with being that the message will be more clear. No. In fact, sometimes just farm and we just sense of conversationality, not shouting. People understand more. Second, message is the most crucial element of effective communication. What are the kinds of uh, types of messages? Oral, like the one I'm doing right now is oral, can be written, but that freezes emotion, so that's why writing is even more complicated. Why? You cannot see the gestures, you cannot see the facial expressions of somebody. Adverts, if it's a well-made advert, it can be well thought, it can really be catchy. Uh, if you, you can remember advert whenever you go, if it is, good. Music, it's well packaged also, that's a well packaged uh, message, alright? Then comment, depends on how you actually put your words. Communication, just as I told, is a process, it depends on how you rhyme the words. What words do you use? Where do you use them? In what way? And uh, that's why I keep repeating, it's a practice, it is an art. And if you don't practice it, you keep writing your gibberish or shrubbery or shenanigans, then you'll have a problem. Your goal in communication is to have your intended message be the message that is actually communicated. Okay? Channel of communication, that's the one that you actually use to convey. It can be a phone, it can be face-to-face, -face, it can be email, all right? That uh, means uh, you're using electrical signals, okay? Media through which message travels, face-to-face, -face. we've talked about that, radio, it's a one-way. Telephone, those are media. 
one medium many media television print internet is an interactive medium all right radio telephone television are mediated communication the likelihood of miscommunication increases with mediated communication you can even see when i give you this video most of us sometimes because we don't actually watch it a couple of times we don't comprehend we can easily miss the message so what do you do when you have a message that is mediated like the video i'm doing is mediated you need to scrutinize it you need to study it more you need to take time and that's where you're building your skills you know skills don't come easy you've got to work on them i've told you there's a guy called kilian lotian mbappe he eats football he sits football he shits football he smells football all the time you you should actually be also doing the same with your academics you should be such a good listener should have such a memory look at mark zuckerberg the guy who made the facebook that guy is just facebook all the time is facebook bill gets he's talking about microsoft all the time why don't you want to talk about your thing why don't you want to just be good in something you don't plant tomatoes well you cannot keep chicken well you cannot even wipe your nose well what are you good at i mean yeah you don't want to do communication you just wanna so you're gonna float through life huh okay so what am i saying here is i'm saying you wanna look for a communication channel that works well work on it if you actually go to print you have to write very well if you're actually going to do TV, that's why we have programming. Receiver, the message is not what the sender sent, it's what the receiver receives. I'll repeat, the message is not what the sender sends, it's what the receiver receives. Because the message can be affected. We don't receive or we don't all perceive the same. We'll, hear, we'll look at that when you look at listening. Two people might actually listen to the same message, they might see the same thing, but never ever do we process the same. And that's why we have slow learners, we have fast learners, we have people who have heads that are full of heavy smoke, some uh, which are clear. We have people who look at things in a feminine way, there are people who look in a masculine way. There are people who look things in uh, empty glasses, half empty, there are those who look at the glasses half full. That's just nature, and we've got to actually accommodate each other. But here is about the receiver. The listener is the person who receives and decodes the communicated message. He breaks it down, right? And the other is listening is an active process that involves paying close attention and making sense of what we hear. Hearing is passive. This is what is happening all the time. People are hearing messages, but they are not listening. And uh, this is uh, why I'm very particular about learning these skills. Because if you're hearing, there is no interpretation. You just hear. And that's why you keep asking, pardon? sorry can you repeat uh, that's that's not lis listening that's hearing okay great communicators are also good listeners when you talk to a friend on phone you have one listener in public speaking you'll have an audience with many listeners because people have different frames of reference a public speaker must take great care to adapt the message to a particular audience what does that mean you've got to work on your message if you have a diverse audience if you have people who are children you have young you have male female you've got to work on your speeches that's why people like the president has got to have speech writers you don't just say stuff yeah, a minister you don't just say stuff you've got to have written speeches and you know if you want to move people like uh, obama or martin luther king jr you've got to actually get your speeches or your communication in order Number five, feedback. This is the receiver's response. And this doesn't have to be verbally. It can be nodding, smiling, frowning, asking questions, making comments, which we see a lot. That's feedback. The sixth is noise interference. Noise interference is anything that impedes the communication of a message. Okay, In public speaking or in any communication, there are two kinds of interference. It can be external. External is traffic outside. There might be students making noise in the hallway. Uh, or the room might be very hot. There might be construction going on. That is external. Internal is, is actually either physiological or psychological. You might be sick. You might actually have corona. God forbid. Uh, 
you might actually have a fever. But psychological also, you might be under stress of some sort. Maybe you don't have money. You don't have bundles even for this video. Most of us are complaining, oh, bundles, bundles, face to face. When is the memo so that we can come back? Okay. But remember, the world does not give you what you want all the time. There's nothing like a world that is free of challenges. It's the challenges that make you who you are. Okay. No soldier goes to battle and comes back actually uh, with his clean uniforms and he's decorated. It's those that are wounded. You can have somebody almost half the body, the legs are gone, he's almost actually uh, totally invalid. Those are the, they fought. It's not the uh, coward or the weakling. David, when he killed Goliath, he, the guy was not actually running away from Goliath. He was going for it. So anyway, you'll have challenges and those can affect your uh, communication. So you have to see, when do I communicate? Like when we had the walls, everybody was communicating. There was a lot of interference. You couldn't even get a message. The thread was lost very quickly. That's interference right there. Understand? And see, that's why you need to ask somebody, can I ask you a question? Are you, uh, can we talk now? Is it a good time that we can actually uh, have a conversation? Don't just come in and bump, bump and start asking your questions. No, check. Because there might be interference might be something context place or occasion this can be indoors outdoors in small classroom can be a densely packed place okay you've got to find out sometimes the situation helps when you propose marriage when swimming in warm waters of the indian ocean in mombasa huh okay not just anywhere you meet somebody in the mess or texas we have a place in college here. it's called texas You've all bought your uh, Gideri and you're telling somebody, can I marry you? What a poor context, you know. And that's why you need to make, make money. Make, uh, you know, uh, be, 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 be somebody responsible guy, okay. And then take out a lady, take her to a nice place. And, you know, that's when you can propose stuff. You don't want to tell the lady, well, you know. I actually uh, love you. I want to marry you. In the wooden desks at TTU, in the classrooms that are so dull, there's no paint, take her to Whispering Palms. Even the name of the place tells you Whispering Palms. Girl, I love you so much. The Whispering Palms. Or take her to Oceanic Hotel. Or, or take her to, you know, occasion. Context. Take her to a good place, okay? I know we really like the topics about, you know, relationships. But the boy child has got a big problem. Very many young men are not so young men. I see them, they can't convince or even confuse somebody's daughter to come and live with them. They can't marry. Most of them are the ones who are making a lot of noise on the wall. When they come face to face with the lady, they are actually chickened out. They actually shake like a reed in the wind. They are the ones whose knees become jelly. They are actually sweating when it's actually raining. They actually have their tongues totally tongue-tied. They are actually having sweat come down on their face. And then when we are on wall, the, the, the WhatsApp, they behave so much manly. And I know them. I can see them just because you are not being seen. That's poor. That is just, uh, it's, 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 it's not communication. Communication is standing up and being counted, my man. Okay? Show up. That's the most important thing. And talk something sensible. Some of it, you just look at it and say, well, you want to answer this guy, really? So, seven elements, I talked about them. I've talked about sender. Then there's the message. There is a communication channel. You have the receiver, the feedback. You have the noise and the context. Remember that. Strategies for effective communication. One, a large repertoire of skills. Good communicators don't use the same approach in every situation. There is time to speak up, a time to be quiet, time to be frank, sometimes stuck. You just have to know when you are with the professors, you behave the professors. Some of you are still behaving as if you are in the village. We are in a university, man or woman. Huh? You have to know what kind of tactics you use. You have even to know how do you approach uh, a lecturer or you know how do you even talk to a lecturer it's not the same thing you talk to your friend you talk to a lecturer even that's the why young men are going to be very lonely it's not the same way you talk to your friend a man you talk to a lady you know 
I don't understand why you think a lady is just a man in a skirt. No, 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 no. That's a wrong notion. But most of the communication I see on that WhatsApp, I think most guys, they just don't have any repertoire skills and they don't want to build it up. Unfortunately, they'll actually be very lonely. They'll be single, lonely, and alone for a long time. And they'll be in a miserable jail for a long time. Maybe all the four years here in TTU, sad, but they could improve if you have actually, you have the what? Morale to change. Adaptability means you fit in, okay? If there are actually uh, ladies there, you don't bring your male-driven testosterone telling a lady, well, you're a fan of, are you man you or arsenal? When you are man you or arsenal, are you being adapting? If you get to a place where there are grandmothers, you're not going to tell them about the movies you saw or so your, your social media. You adapt. If there are people where you in the village, you don't come with your city kind of... No, that's not good communication. Good communication means you adapt to the situation. You've come to TTU, you adapt to the situation. You cannot make... This is not your home. We cannot actually create the situation that is back at home. Adapt. That's good communicators uh, like that. Communication is not just talk, I've told you. It's your totality. You communicate your whole. 80, 90% of your life is communicating. How did you adopt? Ulishi vipi na watu. That's what they say. Hui huishi vizuri na That's communication right there. Ability to perform skillfully. Once you have chosen the appropriate way to communicate, you have to perform that behavior effectively. Practice is a key to skillful performance. I've been speaking now for the, about 30 minutes. I've not read. I've not actually uh, gone and looked for a book because I want to do it well. I want to look like I'm just having a sense of conversationality with you. You know, it makes it interesting, you know, rather than if I was strategies for effective communication. You have to work hard on your communication. I've said it's a skill, just the way somebody works hard on his athletics. Kipchoge is winning the marathon. The guy is working hard. He just doesn't run for the sake of running. He wants to win the race. Very important. What other strategies? Involvement, commitment, commitment to the other person, communicators about the other person, subject and uh, and being understood. Okay, produce good result. Cognitive complexity. If your head is empty, like the way I see some of us, they are empty, then you can't construct anything. You don't have a variety of frameworks. You cannot view things from different perspectives. So you have what we the brain is a muscle. You have to work it. Just the way you can work your abdominals, you can work your biceps, the brain also is a muscle. And remember, it is a very, very big and wide muscle. It has 14 b billion cells. That's what it is. We only use almost 0 0.01. Albert Einstein, the greatest scientist in the uh, 20, 20th century, was using 15%. Now imagine that's instant, 15% of the 14B. Now some of you might be using 0 0.000. Isn't that pathetic? Isn't that sad? So cognitive complexity means all the time you're trying to fire those nerves. You know, the more you fire them, the more they actually become alive. If you leave them, then they die. And that's why you can have narrow-minded people who are addicted. They just are thinking on one thing. They're thinking, now I get here, I'm just going to smoke my bang. And get back to the class they are narrow-minded they're like on shiny rails they have no cognitive complexity at all and that lowers your communication you cannot have any strategy when it comes to communication all right empathy perspective taking can you be able to put my shoes for two weeks and feel where they pinch that's an indian proverb if you want to talk to me before you talk to me just put on my shoes for two weeks, feel where they pinch, then we can understand each other. It's a really a good metaphor for communication, you know, shared meanings. If you actually shout at me, do you know why I am actually uh, behaving the way I'm behaving? Do you know even why I'm actually in the situation I am? So perspective taking it is called. <laughs> Finish with characteristics of communication, just the way we have a characteristic of a human being. He gives birth to the young, he actually uh, locomotes, he actually uh, does not make its own food like a plant and so on. The same thing with 
characteristics of communication, symbolic, we use symbols, shared code in order to communicate, take place, participant must share a code, right? And the code is, the most highest code is a language, it can be Swahili, it can be Taita, it can be Kikuyu, it can be uh, Queen's English or American English, which most of you are bore or you really don't like. And what you don't like is actually what helps you. Banyani Mbaya Ketu Chakeni Dawa. When I was growing up in Mombasa, we like to talk about Banyani who are very, very bad. But we are told Banyani Mbaya Ketu Chakeni Dio Dawa. Just the same. God disciplines those that he loves. Imagine if you're just left to your own devices. Where would you be? You'll just be drifting. Okay? So, think about it. Culturally linked. Communication is linked to culture. If you want to know Swahili, it's good to know the Swahili culture. If you want to know uh, German, you need to know the German culture. And that's why the French, they have Alliance Francais. Uh, if you are looking for Alliance Francais, the way it's written, the way it's spelled, you won't find it. Because it's part of the culture, the way they pronounce things. The Goeth Institute. Uh, it's not even Goeth, it's Goeth. Uh, you have also the Spanish, Estados Unidos Americanos, uh, those stress, uh, people are learning Spanish, people are learning German, you, you, even English you are not learning, and you think that you're going to live in this 21st century. Uh, so, culture, learn culture, learn about the world, it's a global village, and the communication will be more improved. Intentional, behavior must be intentional to be communicative, medium, what is the face face Okay, maybe that I was a bit too fast. Huh? I think I want to go and uh, do something else. Mediated communication is transactional. So, six characteristics of communication we've talked about it is transactional. Okay, it's a process of a give and take. Mediated, it uses a medium. Either it can use telephone wires, it can use the air, it can use. Uh, Electrical signals. Intentional means it has to be purposive. We'll get back the cultural link, shared code, symbolic. Okay? So what have we talked about in communication today? We've talked about theories. Okay? We've talked about the Shannon Weaver model of communication. We've explained communication in its graphic aspect that it is working or it is actually simultaneously. You are communicating, you are also receiving. We've also looked at the elements of communication. And what are these? One, can I, we were finishing and I had said sender, then there is the other one is what? Message, good. And then the next is, did you say communication channels? All right, you're correct there. Uh-huh. When you send, who does, who gets it? What is this, uh, the person? Yes, receiver, very good. And then what does the receiver do once he gets it? Feedback, uh-huh. Then what are the other two? Noise can be interfering. And noise can either be external or internal, right? Internal means physiological or psychological. Somebody having stress might also affect. That's why somebody might be looking at you and might not actually be uh, communicating with you or you cannot get your message to them because they are under so much stress. And one thing you have to make sure in college, if it is getting overwhelming, we have uh, counseling services. You'll meet Mr. Mseri there who can help you when it gets too much. Because if you are stressed and uh, you are there in class, you'll get nothing. But don't let yourself be stressed, okay? That's the internal noise, we call it. Uh -huh. So strategies for effective communication, large repertoire of skills. I like that one, a large repertoire of skills. You have like a wardrobe full of files, or you have a wardrobe full of arsenal, or you have a... Uh, an armory full of different weapons you know you can use an ak-47 you can use a pistol you can use a you know uh, 0.32 a 0.38 you know you have all these and you use them appropriately if you're killing a rat you don't need an ak-47 if you want to kill a termite you're not gonna use a bomb or a grenade so just know it's the same thing with communication you want to find the right skill or you want to use the right weapon at that matter right empathy i think this is also very important 
empathy, empathy. Put yourself in somebody's shoes. Put yourself in some perspective taking. When you abuse somebody, what about you? The golden rule says, do unto others what you want to do and to what you want to be done to you. And that's a really communication right there. It's a two-way process. That's why people have what is called escalation. One gets angry, the other one gets more angry, they get more angry. Ultimately, they fight and they kill each other. Because somebody is not empathizing. Somebody is not finding uh, uh, an aspect of saying, let me just understand you. Let me just get where you are coming from. Right? Okay, we'll stop there. Uh, the same as in uh, lecture 2. A. Submit the assignment. You know where. Do not start use. Do not do my job. All right. Remember, you are all here to learn. Okay. There is only one doctor, and that's Doctor Mjomba in this class. Okay. The rest, anybody teaching you in this class is actually a bush doctor. Mganga wa kienyeji ni actually wale wanaitwa wakutoka Tanzania. Mganga bandia. So just do not teach. Let everybody discover their own goal. You saw what I said in the first uh, video. Okay, we we get talent. It cannot come out when you are actually seated. It's like tea bag. The tea bag has got to get into hot water. The hotter the water, the better. It will actually get to be more better tea. Your gold, if it's refined at less than three thousand degrees centigrade, then it won't shine. The shining gold is the one that is refined at a very high temperature. And that's why you are here in college to discover so that you go out. There's so many problems that need to be solved. There's so much money to be made if you can only solve a problem. But you know why we are actually broke and frustrated and poor? We, we cannot solve any problem. We are just actually working or we are going to school to be employed and employment is the worst form of slavery. It's good you start there, but you start making for your company. Mark Zuckerberg at 18, the guy had his company. Bill Gates didn't even finish college. Okay, I'm not telling you not to finish college. Some of you will stay college for eight years and you'll come out and stay for another 30 years unemployed. Because why? You are not actually discovering for yourself. You let somebody do it, the shortcuts. You have to pay the price to get the price. We had talked about that. Uh huh.